Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Forever with SRJ26. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you today. Uh, I've been doing probably too much fun stuff without the camera rolling, but I didn't die, so points for that. At this point it would be tragic because of how much I've done in here. Although eventually I will die. At least I, I don't know, I think I kind of hope so. But the first thing we want to try is two, three, four. All right. I raised the roof, but apparently not enough. So, um, yeah, that's not working. Pity. So, uh, I will have to raise the roof some more. Um, there, this requires an awful lot of space. It's kind of crazy. But I will work on that uh, later on. Let us go down and check out how this is looking. Um, we've got the floor cleared out. Now this is what we're going to do. Water's going to flow out from here into there. I'll have to put my light there. And what we're going to try to do is set this up so that water can flow out, but it won't actually flow out it will get stopped by that sign. So now, I this is kind of a closed space to be building this, but I'm going to try anyways. What we're doing is we're, dig we're building the drowning um, thingy. That's a, that's a technical term, thingy. And I'm hoping I don't run out of glass. In theory, the way it used to work at least, is that the glass would keep the mobs from um, wanting to swim, I believe. Oh, crud. Let me... I don't want to waste any... Yikes. Alright, that one's got to go. Okay. And now we're going to use some dirt. Um, sorry, the, the glass... I, I'm terrible at that, by the way. I apologize. I constantly start sentences and then just stop them, and I don't actually ever finish. And I'm sure you guys are like, finish your sentence. Okay, so if a mob is in water and there is glass in front of it, it used to not know that there was anything wrong, and it would just die, which was really nice. Um, now I'm going to do something in here that is a little odd. But I'm going to make a temporary water uh, source. And what I'm doing here, I'll clear it up later, is one block on either side, they flow into the middle, two flowing blocks into the same spot will create an infinite water source. And I'm doing that so that I can actually put water in here in all four spots. And now, oh. I must have removed. There we go. Okay. And I just need one more. Okay. Actually, got to get it right in the corner here. All right. So a mob falls in there and it drowns, and the stuff flows out one of those four directions. I think I am going to put uh, blocks, oh, not like that, okay, I want to put blocks up here just to make it look a little nicer, I wonder if I can reach that far, nope, alright, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so we've just got one block to put back up there, and then we can call this done. <laughs> oh, if I feel a sneeze coming on, I'll try to mute the, mute the camera so I don't deafen you guys. Very good. Okay, so, um, actually, hold on a second.
Okay, I just sneezed. Hopefully off camera. Or at least uh, I'm going to lift the mute on. Alright, so this should be a working uh, drowning chamber for skeletons. Now let's go back up, but first we want to get our... I don't think I need three, but I'm going to get three anyways. And we'll go back up and see about the next part. The next part is going to be involve uh, going to involve okay, it's gonna involve setting up the top room so that the mobs are flushed down into the pit. And well, the way that's gonna work is we're just gonna um, put water down. And the mobs will hopefully drop into the water. And when they drop into the water, they will be flushed away. That's my theory. Let's make sure I'm not being followed. I hear spiders. All right, that's fine. Actually, it's not fine, but I don't know if I'm going to spot them. That's okay. Let's not worry. Um, yeah. So what we got to do here. Is I suppose if I've got spiders in the area, I might as well be safe. And spiders can only... F oh, that's not what I want to do. Oh, I didn't mention that I obviously cleared off the floor in here. So the floor is now completely devoid of... Cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, because I want it all every single bit. Now, that one's gone. When I put down the water buckets, the um, skeletons could easily start showing up. So, I'm going to put one down, back up real quick. Boom. Put another one down. And then... Bye-bye. Little bastards. Alright. So, um... I hear them. Oh, but you know what? Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, boo. I wonder... I don't think that's going to work. All right, I got to do that again. crap All right, I'm doing things too fast. And that's okay. But it's kind of dumb. Okay, uh, let's get that one. And then... One, one, two, two... I'll explain what I'm doing in a second. And that one. I gotta get back in there. And the reason I gotta get back in there is that I've got I'm carrying four signs. And my four signs are being carried for a reason. down. Okay, goodness gracious. All right. <laughs> what I forgot to do was I forgot to put my signs down. Um, and the reason I need signs is to control the flow of water. So what I do is I put a sign there and a sign there, and the result is that the mobs should be flushed to the hole, but not, um, but they should not, the water shouldn't go down the hole. That's the plan because what the sign does is the sign keeps the mobs out, uh, the water out. So in theory, it's gonna flush all the way down, and let's just do this again. Uh, boom. Boom. Okay, now it should be sending these guys to their doom. Uh, at least that's the hope. Let's block this off, because otherwise stuff will spawn.
All right, now we go down and we see if the uh, skeletons are being swept down into... Actually, we can... I, I sometimes put glass. Do I have any glass left? I have no glass left. All right. Uh, well, sometimes you can put glass in and have a window so you can actually see if they're spawning. But let's go down. Now, the other question is, when we're down here, will, be, will we be close enough to, to um, promote spawning? Uh, if you have to be within a certain number of blocks of the spawner or they won't appear. So uh, that's the other pretty big question. Uh, it's just right down here. Hey, look at that. Ain't that sweet? So it's working like a charm. Um, yep, so skeleton falls, hits the water, falls down here. Uh, there's another one. It is in the water and is looking at glass. There's a block in front of it, therefore it thinks it is not in water. It, it doesn't worry about it's trying to swim. And then click, 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 click. I have a supply of arrows now, which makes me very happy. So, um, yeah, very cool, very cool. Uh, so this was a demonstration of how to make a pretty nice little uh, source for arrows for pretty much as long as you want, really. Let me just get a torch over here. And all you need is one of these wonderful little there we go. Wonderful little skeleton spawner. I'm a huge fan of arrows. I actually got a magic bow from an unfortunate um, an unfortunate little skeleton somewhere along the way. So, you know, I kind of like being able to see that. It's kind of cool to be able to see the... I better be careful with that. Let's open it up and just, just... Oh, what happened? Oh, that's what happened. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, um, yeah, this stuff is all very carefully put together. And what happened here is I got rid of a block that had a sign on it. Um, you saw that I had the signs, but I didn't explain them. What the signs are doing is they are forcing the water that comes out of here to stop. So you see that water coming out of that hole stopped, and the water that was in the, the, the channel below is free to keep on sweeping everything out. And you know, I gotta say, it looks like I'm close enough to make the thing spawn, which is wonderful, um, because it means I've got a source for all kinds of good stuff, like arrows and bone meal. Wow, look at that go. So anytime I'm hanging out down here, I'm gonna, every time I walk by, I can just pick up my arrows and go about my business. Let me, uh... Get rid of my water source here, because I don't need it anymore. Alright, that was the first thing. Actually, that was the second thing. The first thing was the jungle tree. And that was a failure. But I have one more thing to show you. And let's go up this way. Oh my goodness, I don't think I can show it to you. I think we're out of time. Um, oh, that's okay. We'll, we'll do it next time. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been SRJ26 with uh, a little demo on a way you can set up a spawner to become a wonderful little mob grinder. The only problem is I don't get XP, but you know, I'm a level 110 by now. Uh, I, I'll hit 200 someday. I actually want to find out what the what the, the highest level attained on camera is, because I think that would be interesting. I wonder if I could hit some crazy number and beat the record. Uh, although I'd probably require an XP grinder in a lot of time, and that's boring. But you never know. Maybe I'll do it. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.